so now this is very important layer so that is transport layer when we discuss about three layers so the data is in which format data so now when the data comes to transport layer it actually converts the data into segments it means it will divide the data into multiple chunks or parts okay means you are getting a data so when the data is going to transport layer it is actually segmenting the data into multiple parts again hello is very small so i'm just explaining you what is happening so the data is actually converting and so this is known as segmentation okay and also this transport layer is responsible for sequencing what is this sequencing so it will actually add the number on the data why because when data is going from one pc over the internet to any another device or in your lan network anywhere so might be there is a chance the packet will be drop and when the data is going to be so b will check okay i got 1 3 4 5 i have not received the second number sequence can you please retransmit can you send me again so in this transport layer we actually do retransmission also but transport layer actually divided into two protocols so all this retransmission segmentation sequencing all comes under tcp sequencing is used so that we can assemble or reassemble the data at the destination end so the now data is coming from above layer okay so now you can just say that we have two trucks over here so one truck is known as you can say that it's a tcp and this is a udp so whenever we send any data with tcp any packet is going from source to destination so the destination is going to send us back a receipt that is known as acknowledgement but when data is going with the udp we are just sending the data but we are not going to get back the receipt of whatever we are sending so tcp stands for transmission control protocol and udp stands for user datagram protocol so whenever data is going with tcp so it actually takes care of acknowledgements so tell me if anybody is coming with the receipt who is more reliable tcp or udp because it is coming back with the receipt that i have delivered the data so this is reliable where this person or this dudp truck is not reliable right and if data is lost if suppose we are sending data one box dropped in the road or somewhere so it is going to retransmit the data so we don't have any retransmission over here no retransmission it always believes in connection so this is in network language it is known as connection oriented because it always believes in making connection but this is connectionless so it has less overhead less overhead means whenever we sending data we don't actually send a lot of many things so it means uh, there will be less size of the packet in comparison to tcp so tcp takes 20 bytes and udp takes how many bytes 8 bytes so what is that information that is port numbers we add port numbers here so the bytes i am talking here 20 bytes 8 bytes it actually adds port number uh, there is a protocol number to it tcp protocol number is 6 because this these both protocols falls under ip tcp works under ip and the protocol number is 6 and udp works also under ip that protocol number is 17 